In Ada Nirzar investigation, foster kids rides to nowhere. A 15-year-old girl alone in a car with a stranger for 100 miles. Now, if that was your daughter, would you allow a road trip like that? A local foster care organization felt that it was okay, but that trip had life-changing consequences. Investigator Mark Douglas joining us now with the latest chapter in our foster care investigation, Rides to Nowhere. Keith, this is about the organization known as YFA. You may recall that's the same organization fired two weeks ago after allegations of mishandling other foster kids. Now, this case ended with a sexual assault allegation by the girl and the firing of that driver. In nine years, there's nothing in my work file for any disciplinary action. Solomon Atkins worked for YFA, the same agency Eckerd fired after we saw caseworkers keeping foster kids in cars day after day for hours on end in a Tampa gas station. During his nine years with YFA, Atkins says he transported foster kids from here to Seattle. I gave the children and the parents respect, and they all gave me the same respect back. He was a trusted worker, employee of the year, until the day one 15-year-old foster girl claimed he forced her to commit a sex act. She said it happened on a round trip between Bradenton and Arcadia, where Atkins was driving the foster girl to see her baby. One month after she complained, he was fired. Faster than a hot potato. A Manatee Sheriff's report says the girl waited five to six months to report the incident, changed her story, and had made previous rape allegations. The state attorney refused to prosecute based on lack of evidence and the girl's unwillingness to press charges for a crime that Solomon Atkins swears never happened. That is my hand of God on my mother's grave. YFA told Atkins he was fired after an internal investigation, an investigation the organization now admits never happened. Solomon says he would have refused to transport the girl alone if he'd known she had made previous rape claims. Never would have been involved and put myself in the situation. He now insists that no one should go through what he did. It should have always been two people transporting any female. I don't care if it was around the block. YFA tells it is, now has a no comment policy, always had when it comes to personnel matters, including this one. But a spokeswoman says managers are now considering buying dash cameras as a safeguard in the future. A little late for this situation, but maybe future ones. All those years of good work history and an allegation that the prosecutors never felt was worthy to even make an arrest or pursue. You kind of feel bad for this guy. And, and this girl, this foster girl, was she supposed to be in foster care in school somewhere? Well, at the time? She's, she's 15 years old. The right. law says 15 year olds have to go to school. And as far as we can tell, she wasn't. It was a weekday. She was going to visit her baby. In fact, she told him she worked at Burger King uh, instead of going to school. He was encouraging her to go to school. Uh, the YFA folks did say that they can't force kids to go to school. But like I said, it's illegal to have 15 year old kids not in school. They could have called a truancy officer. But that's another story. And they're also in trouble for that, by the way, in Tampa, where the other kids uh, that we found not going to school, going sitting to school, at the right. Wawa, being dumped on the streets. So there's a bigger story here. All right. Thank you for staying on it, sure. Mark.